graph a linear function in graph and table we'll enter graph and table remember if your uh, class pad doesn't look exactly like this then just have a look at video 300 first now the function we want is y is equal to 2x plus 3 we don't need to put the y in y is already done for us here we just start typing the right hand side of the equation 2x plus 3 and tap execute and notice class pads turned it into an equation y1 is equal to 2x plus 3. Next we're going to tap the very left hand icon here and the graph is drawn for us. Now we can change the scale here in a couple of ways under zoom there's in out and auto but let's have a look at a different way of doing that with the hotkeys on the keyboard. The first is minus is zoom out. If I tap it again, we zoom out again. If I tap the plus key, then we zoom in. And last of all is the equals key here. If I tap on the equals, that's an auto scale which doesn't change the x-axis but it automatically scales the y-axis to fit the uh, domain of the function. Now I'm going to tap resize at this stage. Um, you could also use your fingers on the screen if you've got the handheld version. You can use one finger to move the uh, graph around and let go wherever you'd like to. Or you can use two fingers to pinch zoom in and out uh, on the graph. Try it now. Meanwhile, we'll keep moving on. If I want to manually adjust the screen settings, I can tap onto settings and choose the view window which I'll cancel or we can tap onto this icon here and, and this opens up the view window as well and then we can manually set the scales x scale from negative 5 if I tap execute the cursor jumps onto x max which we want to be 3 uh, we'll ignore the scale and the dot the scale is how often it'll put a little tick on the axis the dot uh, will come back to but the y min we want as negative 4. If I tap execute we then can enter 6 for the max uh, and that'll do us OK. And you can see here now the scale that we have chosen is displayed on the screen. To trace along the line there's a couple of options. One is analysis trace. The same effect is achieved by tapping whenever you see this little icon, uh, kind of a curve with XY on it. This is the same as tapping trace and it puts the cursor on the line so that we can then use the cursor keys to tap left and move the point to the left, tap right and move the point to the right. If you want to go to a particular coordinate, say we wanted to go to here where X is 0.5, when we're in trace mode we simply start typing zero a little box pops up we can complete it 0 0.5 and tap ok and it's jumped to there and we can do this as often as we like maybe we want to go to negative two so i'll tap negative two and say ok and the cursor jumps to negative two uh, so that's tracing and jumping along the line very quickly. To return to see the graph editor, just tap resize again and there we are.